if Sherry, if I've told you once, I've told you a thousand times. Like everybody's everybody's getting their panties in a lot about Texas trying to outlaw abortions and the Supreme Court not doing anything. But here's what you do. I've got I, this is the, the fix is in, folks. This is what you do. If people could just sell their babies, then they would be financially incentivized to carry the baby to term, and then we would have uh, more economic growth and more not dead babies. Am am I right or am I right? <laughs> Uh, I would say someone's been reading Rothbard. <laughs> like, like it's not okay. So it's not slavery though, right? Because <laughs> it's because you're not like okay. I misspoke. You're not you're not selling the baby. Like Walter mm -hmm. Block would sell the baby. I'm right, not, right. It's, I'm, I'm not saying you're not reading Walter Block. I'm not selling the baby. I'm selling the parental rights to the baby. Uh, oh, that makes it okay. Like it's if like I, adoption, right? Like if I have some land I'm not using and I sell the rights to the land to you right. for like a couple of years and you use it to grow a crop, uh -huh. like so, so I'm selling you the parental rights to the baby. That sounds legit. <laughs> like I don't, this is, this is how you know that like liberty will never win is <laughs> no. because I know that like 98% of people that could hear what we just said would say, that's, that's crazy. These people are crazy, but for yeah. one, but these are the same people that if you complain about something, their answer will be, well, I don't see you coming up with anything. Right. I just came up with something. And they don't like it. Yeah. And they, I don't like it. Yeah. I mean, and they're the same Peter, people that think that murdering the babies is preferable to selling, you know, their rights to them. Well, whatever like, there's people out there that like their their comeback would be well you'll you know there'll be some evil pedophile or there'll be some they'll there'll be some like chinese doctor that's going to buy up the babies and then harvest right. their organs as oh. opposed to chop them up and throw them in the toilet right like, exactly in a dumpster half alive sucked out their brain half their brain yeah yeah exactly that just half just horrendous. not the whole brain just just <laughs> right just half just the half just so they suffer Speaking about wanting people to suffer, everybody, the internet was on fire over <laughs> AOC's dress at the recent Met Gala Ball. Take a look at this right here. This is her dress. Tax the rich. Now, I tell you what, she made the classic blunder. Yes, if you're did. ever going to wear anything or hold a sign that's white <laughs> with text written on it, you know that people are going to Photoshop whatever the hell they want to put there. Like everyone, yeah. everyone's got the picture of, of Michelle Obama hold, with her, with her pouty face, you know, holding <laughs> the sign. And I'm pretty sure it said something like, like save our girls in Nigeria right. or something. But then people put on there, you know, Biden touched my PP. You know, <laughs> 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 so anyway, so anyway, there's dozens of these pictures out here. This is just the one that I picked out. Take a look at this right here. Of course, <laughs> let the meat cake. And That's and I'll be honest with you, brown girl. I'm just I'll saying. Be, I'll be honest with you. There's there's there were other funnier ones than that, but I picked that one because I felt like it was more appropriate that she's she's one of these people who's gone on record saying I'm going to wear a mask until the pandemic is over. Even right. after I'm vaccinated, you know, everyone should be forced to do this. Everyone's got to do their part. And there she is at this big public gathering, uh, not wearing a mask. And also, by the way, it's like $35,000 a ticket or something to go to that thing. Because if you want to signal that I'm a champion of the working class, you go to <laughs> private galas for $30,000 a plate. That's what, <laughs> right. that's what you do. Uh, so anyway, and, there's, and, the, and the only people there wearing masks are the help, which right. kind of... I feel like that's really saying something right there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, perhaps some animals are more equal than others. Yeah, that sounds right, Alan. I saw <laughs> I saw Glenn Greenwald, and I like Glenn Greenwald, and he's yeah. and he's he's looking for a Great. way more poetic take on it than I just did. And his and his take was is that these these the 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 elite class has always looked at the others as the servant class, and you're just mm -hmm. a nameless, faceless servant. And yep. now they're literally making them nameless and faceless, as yes. opposed to only figuratively. <laughs> um, Sherry, you want to you want to know how I know that it's all political theater? How's that? <laughs> Don't <laughs> laugh until I deliver the punchline. <laughs> if there was a truly dangerous pandemic going on, 
then there wouldn't have been a Met Gala to begin with, right? Like it Correct. Wouldn't, it wouldn't have happened. They would have done a Zoom call like all the rest of us have to do. Mm -hmm. See, everything that you love and cherish has to be shut down, but everything they get to do, they get to go on living. Right. Unlike Norm MacDonald. Oh, God. I'm going to, I tell you what, I'm really going to try to channel my inner Norm MacDonald for this show because he recently <laughs> passed away. But then I realized that might not be a good idea because if I channel my inner Norm MacDonald, I'm going to die of cancer. Oh. oh. So, speaking of that, you know, we did an episode a few weeks ago about the whole hashtag free Britney phenomenon, Britney Spears. Yeah, and there's yeah. some updates about that. So, so she got engaged. What? It'll just be a different man looking after her, I guess. Right, but her I father, her father apparently was also going to file to end the conservatorship. So I don't know. Maybe something's going to come of that. But uh, free Britney fans were taken aback this afternoon. Take a look at this. Uh, Britney had only used Instagram to con to connect and communicate right. with her fans, and her Instagram has since been deleted. So hmm. people don't know if that's a sign of that she's moving on, or if that's a sign that something is terribly awry. Um, mm -hmm. So, come to think of it, you know, I've never seen Norm Macdonald and Britney Spears at the same place at the same time. <laughs> I mean, they're of an age, right? Like, they're both about 61. <laughs> right. give or take. <laughs> On that note, you know, before we go to the final commercial break, I do have another clip of Norm Macdonald. You know, Norm was a big sports guy. Mm -hmm. now, uh, we're big sports people. You know, we do sports ball here. I, I love sports. And in the later years of his life, Norm really wasn't doing a whole lot of comedy. He was just... He was just living the dream, just following yeah. his favorite teams. And if you go and look at his Twitter today, you'll see that most of his Twitter is just him tweeting about the games that he's watching and what the score is and stuff, which I, I like that. I like that he was yeah. doing something that he enjoyed as opposed to touring the country or whatever. Mm -hmm. But uh, being a big sports guy, he actually got to perform at the ESPY Awards, you know, the, the sports awards right. that ESPN puts on. This okay. is him performing at the 1997 ESPYs. Take a look at this. And there's Charles Woodson. How about that? Oh, what a season he had. <laughs> Great, man. He, he became the first defensive player to win the Heisman Trophy. And congratulations, Charles. That is something that no one can ever take away from you. Unless you kill your wife and a waiter, in which case... <laughs> Oh, my word. Oh. O.J. Oh. Simpson jokes will never, never die, unlike no. McDonald. Guys, 